Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Matchbox Resurrection. And today I'm playing with this Corgi Batcopter. And this is a gift from Dan and his daughter Ellie here in the UK. And apparently Ellie chose this one, so I thought, well, this is the first one that I'm going to do from the lot. And I've never had one, so I'm not sure what I'm going to find inside, but we'll see. It definitely needs new paint, and that's not working properly, but I don't think it'll be an issue. This that be broken, whatever you call it, phalange or something. That one is all chewed up. Uh, supposed to have like a hook, maybe from inside or from the belly, probably from the belly. And Batman has been painted really weird, but you'll see. And it's attached with two screws and one rivet, so I'm just going to remove it. And I'm going to be very careful because I'm not sure what's going to be inside. Probably lots of springs and everything. So I'm going to have to be very careful. So I've took it apart and now I'm going to study all the pieces because I need to know how to put it back on together. And uh, the hook is missing obviously, but the string is all tangled. So that's the first thing that I need to do. And uh, there's no much left, but I'm still going to save it because it's part of the toy and I like to save as much as I can. As for Batman, it's attached to the seat, so I'm going to have to trim that piece of plastic so I can paint it properly with the original colors. The windshield is alright, I think it's called cockpit, and uh, it's got a couple of scratches but not bad, so I'm just going to give you a bit of a polish and the pin pledge. That bit of plastic has got a crack, so I'm not gonna remove it. I'm gonna put a bit of super glue and I just paint it over. I don't wanna break it because I don't think I'll find a replacement part for that. And while I'm stripping the paint off, I just want to let you know that next week, at some point, I'm going to do a video and it's going to be questions and answers. So if you have any questions for me, leave a comment down below and I will try to answer all the questions or maybe they're only going to be anyway too. But uh, now is your chance. So if you want to know anything about me or anything about the channel, or anything about whatever, just drop me a question down below in the comment section and I will be answering next week. Uh, also gonna put a post on the community tab, so if you want, just drop your questions there. I think it's gonna be fun. The blades are all chewed up, but there's not much I can do about it, but I'm still going to repaint all the black lines.
The cast in itself is not in bad condition, but I'm still gonna try to remove a few casting lines. The stabilizer is missing, it's broken, so I'm gonna have to build another one and I'm gonna use some styrene. But first of all, I'm gonna sand it down so I've got a flat base to glue it on. So I've cut a piece of uh, styrene and now I'm gonna glue it and then I'll do some filing very gently until it looks like uh, there's no seam in between them. The noise in the background is not the helicopter, it's my washing machine. I've put a coat of primer and now I'm just gonna paint it black and I tell you what, it looked really nice in matte black but I want it to be closer to the original model so maybe next time Like I said before, there's not much string left, but I still want to save it, and now I'm just going to build the hook. And I'm using this bit, which is part of a lighter, and that's going to be the top of a hook, and then I'll make the hook itself from a paper clip. I know it looks big on your screen, but that's only about 2 millimeters in diameter. And now I'm just gonna make the hook with a paper clip like I said before.
I've threaded the string through the top part and I'm just gonna glue it with super glue and then I'll glue the bottom part which is the hook. There you go, that's as close as I can get to the original one. Now I'm just going to clean the cockpit and then I'll dip it in pledge. Now I'm just gonna see what's going on with Batman because uh, I don't know why they've used these colors but the first thing that I need to do is trim the bait and get it out of there and uh, while he's chilling sitting on a cork of Campo Viejo I'm gonna give him a makeover And this is how it looks now, with the original Batman colors. And now I'm just gonna try to see if I can put everything back together. It seems like everything's working, so I'm just gonna screw it back on and put some super glue on the rivet. So it's finished now. I hope you like it, Ellie. I'm really happy with the result. I like the hook. I also made some stickers for the sides with the Batman logo, and believe it or not, I've just dropped it and I've cracked the back phalange. So I'm gonna have to touch it up, but never mind. So if you're still there, don't forget next week I'll be doing that video with questions and answers 
So if you want to know anything about me, about the channel, about the cars, about my projects or whatever you want to know, don't forget to leave your questions down below or in the community tab. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week with something else. Have a good day.